Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Stop Being the Nice Girl to Men. Right, ladies? So you trying to figure out, you say, Sid, I'm tired of being the nice girl. I'm tired of going all out my way for a man that does not benefit me in return. I'm tired of being a man pleaser. I'm tired of men walking all over me. I'm tired of being a pushover. I'm tired of not having no backbone. I'm tired of men not respecting me. You know, like you as a woman, you may say, I'm so nice, I'm so kind. But a lot of times you realize that men will take your kindness for weakness, right? They take your kindness for weakness and they take you for granted. They take advantage of you. They feel like you so nice, you so cool, you will let anything slide, you'll tolerate anything, and he knows that he could get away with whatever, and a lot of times he does because you too nice, and you don't never say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You let everything just happen to you. You just go with the flow. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to cause no conflict. You always end up putting a man's feelings and his needs and wants and desires over your own. Or this man don't never reciprocate the same efforts. Everything that you put into this man, you go all out your way for this man. You're so nice to him and you're so kind to him, so gentle, so soft. And that's exactly what he feel like. You soft. He feel like you weak. He feel like you're insecure. He feels like you're a pushover. He feels like you just so easily manipulated because you just want to fit in or you just want him to approve of you and you want his validation. You want this man 
to like you, right? You want this man to want you and desire you. So you end up being so nice to him, but a lot of times it's to your detriment because the sad and honest truth is nobody respects a nice girl. Nice girls are a lot of times looked at as weak, like I said. And you may see that a lot of the mean girls, right? The mean girls, the loud girls, the women that don't take no mess, the women that stand up in everything they believe in, the women that speak up for themselves, the women that's like, hey, you know, that don't be playing no games. You see that a lot of men will value those types of women and will respect the mean girls over the nice girls. You may say, Sid, why do the mean girls get everything? For some reason, it seems like when you're mean to a man and you know, when you don't take no mess from him, when you don't tolerate no disrespect, and you know, when you speak up and stuff like that, you're more outspoken. It seems like you get more respect from that man. And a lot of times that man will chase after those types of women. But the nice girls, the girls that go all out their way for a man, that really love a man, that really keep him right, that keep him good, that make sure he's always happy and always just kept in everything. A lot of times those types of women are the ones that get walked all over and the man will push you to the side, push the nice girl to the side because nice girls finish last. So he gonna push the nice girl to the side and he gonna get with the mean girl and he gonna get with the mean girl that actually got a backbone and that's gonna tell him what it is and that ain't gonna play with him, right? So in order for you to get respect a lot of times from a man, from anybody, not just a man, we talking about from your mama to your coworkers at work, to your homegirls, your friends, to your family, to every single relationship, business relationship, romantic relationships, friendships, all types of relationships, right? When you're too, 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 too nice, people, it's just human nature that people take advantage of nice people. Have you ever wondered or have you ever noticed that a lot of times the good people are the ones that get dogged out and hurt the most and all the bad people get everything all the mean people get everything right that's because they make people respect them and because a lot of times they're more selfish and not selfless right because a lot of times you gotta be selfish the problem with being too nice is that you put everybody else's feelings, you put everybody else's wants and desires before yourself and you should never do that. You should never put nobody before you. You come first. So that's part of the reason why, you know, nice women finish last because you always putting this man first every time and he know you're going to put him first every time and he know that he ain't got to put you first because you don't never put yourself first. So if I'm the king and you're going to treat me like a king, but you're going to inconvenience yourself just to make me happy, that means you don't even respect yourself. That means you care so much about me to make me happy. You don't even care if you're unhappy right? And that's a problem. You should always care about your own happiness more than anybody in this world. So you got to start putting you first over every single man that comes into your life. And you got to start having a backbone. Stop being so nice, right? It's a thin line between being nice and being a pushover, right? You could be nice when it's time to be nice. But when they try you, when a man try you, or he do something disrespectful, or he do something offensive, he say something offensive, do something, something disrespectful, something that rubs you the wrong way, if he do that, you got to check that man. You know what I'm saying? You got to check him every time, because if you don't, then that's when you roll over into the pushover. And nobody respects a pushover. Nobody respects a woman that sits down, always quiet, and does not have a backbone. You got to have a backbone in these streets. Otherwise, people going to walk all over you like some stairs. If you don't stand up for yourself, 
you will fall for everything, right? So, ladies, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to stop being so nice, okay? Nice women get taken advantage of. Nice women get used. Nice women get played. Nice women get dogged out. Nice women get cheated on. Nice women get lied to. Nice women get used and just manipulated and all the above, you know, because when you're so nice, men know what they could get away with. And if they could get away with everything, and if you let everything slide, guess what? You give a man an inch, he'll take a whole mile, okay? If you give him a little bit, he'll go a lot. He'll take a lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you open the door and you let that little crack in the door, he will open the whole door. All it takes is, is a little bit and he'll take the whole mile, you know? He will ice skate all over you, you know? You may say, oh, no, you skating on thin ice. You know what I'm saying? Hey, brother, you skating on thin ice? He like, I'm not skating on thin ice. This ice pretty thick to me because I'm sliding up and down this ice and you ain't doing nothing about it. You ain't going to speak up for yourself. You ain't going to do nothing. So why would I care if you don't care, right? So ladies, again... I'm going to teach you how to be a little bit more meaner and how to get some respect around here and how to get some respect around any man or friends and family, co-workers, your mama, your daddy, any, everybody needs to respect you, okay? This is how you get respect because you don't get no respect being too nice, okay? So, we're going to jump right into this video, right? And I'm going to give you my top five, yes, five ways how you as a woman, five ways how you can stop being so nice to men, nice to everybody, but especially your men. This is how you need to stop being so nice, and this is how you learn how to be a little bit more meaner, a little bit more selfish. This is how you care a little bit more about yourself over that man, okay? So, we're going to jump right to this video. We're going to number one. So, number one, the first way. How you as a woman, how you can stop being so nice and how you can start being a little bit more mean and actually get some respect in these streets is you got to stop saying yes to everything and you got to start saying no, okay? When you are a people pleaser, when you're a man pleaser, when you just want to make this man happy all the time, even if you're unhappy, then guess what? You will always get the short end of the stick. You will always get, you know, mistreated and you won't never get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Because you always put him first. You always agree to everything. Stop agreeing with every single thing this man says. Stop agreeing with every single thing this man does. Stop agreeing with, if this man says something, you don't have to always agree and say, yes, I'll do that. Yes, sir. Yes, your highness. Yes, whatever you need, I can do it for you. I'll do that for you. You want me to cook for you? You want me to clean for you? You want me to rub your back? You want me to give you sex? How much sex you want? How much booty you want? I'll give it all to you. What you want to do? What's up? What, what you need me to do? I'm basically your, I'm your maid. You know, I'm your maid. I'm your slave. I'll do anything to make you happy, right? Anything. So when you're like that, desperate and thirsty, right? And you're so needy for this man that you want him to approve of you, you never say no. So if you say yes to everything and you agree to everything, if this man tell you to do something, you just do it or you offer to do it, you know what I'm saying? Or if he offers something to you, you just take it automatically, even if you don't want it or even if you don't like it or even if you don't want to do it. It might be some things that you don't want to do. He might tell you, hey, you know, can you send me some money? Hey, can you buy me this? Hey, can you do that for me? You know what you tell that man? No, I ain't got it for you. I'm not going to spend my money on you that I work hard for. You a grown man and you need to get your own money. Don't be in my pockets. Get your own money. You know what I'm saying? Say no. If this man asks you for money, say no. Especially if this man ain't never bought you nothing. 
he ain't never spent no money on you or he barely spent anything on you, but he asking for large lump sums of money. No, you know what I'm saying? Or this man asking you for sex, demanding sex, demanding this and that, you to cook and clean and do everything, but he don't never give you nothing. You empty handed. You don't have nothing in your hands right now, but his hands are full with all of your benefits, and that's not fair. So you got to start saying no when A, is not reciprocated, and B, when he don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? And C, if you don't want to do it. So if you don't want to give this man no money, then don't give him no money. Don't let him pressure you into giving him some money. If you don't want to give this man no booty, don't be having sex with him. Don't let him pressure you into having sex with him. Tell that man, no, you cannot have my body. This is my body. I don't owe you nothing. You can't tell me what to do with my body. This is my body. What you talking about? I don't care if you get mad. I don't care if you get upset that you can't have my money or my body or my time or my energy or my good loving. You know, you can't have all of me because I don't got all of you. Or you can't have all me because you have not earned it yet or proved your, or proven yourself to me yet, right? You got to let a man prove himself to you. You got to let a man show you that he's serious about you instead of you going out your way for him, you know? Because if you always agree to everything, say yes, 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 and you never say no, this man going to say, oh, she always going to tell me yes, oh, Anything I ask for, I'm going to get it. Anything I ask for, she going to do it. Anything I ask for, A, it's going to happen. Because she cares so much about me that even if it inconveniences her, even if she ain't really got it like that, she could be on her last and she'll still give it to me. And that man is like, oh, well, if she don't care about herself, if she don't keep giving, 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 I'm going to keep taking, 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 right? If she'll always say yes to me, I know that I can use her for whatever. I know I can always ask her for money. I know I can always ask her for booty. I know I can always ask her for attention. I know I can always ask her for emotional support, companionship, whatever he can get up out of you. He know he can ask you and get it. And you ain't never going to say no. You going to give me whatever I want with no questions asked. You don't even ask no questions. You don't even challenge him. You don't even confront him. When this man asks you for money, you don't never say, where your money at? Why, why you ain't working hard? I work hard for my money every day. Why you not working hard and you a grown man? You know what I'm saying? Why you need money so bad? Are you broke? Are you lazy? Do you not have it? Like, and if it is the case, then what you asking me for? Why? Because he want to use you for your money. You know what I'm saying? Or if he begging for sex and he want sex or he get mad when you don't give him no sex, guess what? He was just using you for sex and that's all he wanted because you always said yes. Every time this man said, oh, come over, come over, or let me come over your house. Let's Netflix and chill. Let's kick it. Let's have a movie night you know, stuff like that, you always say yes, yes, yes. And then you'd be surprised when this man don't take you out, when this man don't never take you out on no dates because you already agreed to be in a booty call. You agreed to be in a booty call. So why would I take you out if you always agree to coming over my house or me coming over your house, even if you're not comfortable, it's a lot of women. You're not really even comfortable with going over his house or him coming over your house, but you just do it anyways because you want to please him and give him sex or just show up because you feel like you're going to lose him or you feel like, you know, this is going to be your opportunity to win him over or you feel like, hey, if I sprinkle this little kitty cat on him, if I sprinkle a little booty on him, that's going to catch him and make him want me. Yeah, that'll make him want you all right, want to use you for your booty, but he don't like you for you. So to avoid being used... Stop saying yes to everything. Learn the magic word. No. No, you can't stay at my house rent free. No, you can't ride around in my car and not put no gas in it or ride around in my car, period. No, it's my car. 
No, you can't ride around in my car or no, I can't pick you up and drop you off because you ain't got no car. No, I can't give you no money. I ain't got it for you. I got it for me, but I ain't got it for you, right? No, I'm not going to give you no sex. Find somebody else that's easy, that's going to just give it to you so easy because that's not the type of woman I am. You know what I'm saying? This man needs to know that you are not that type of girl that's just going to say yes to everything and just going to please him just because you like him so much. It don't work like that, right? So you got to have a backbone. You got to start telling that man, no, you can't do none of that stuff. You not coming over. You not finna live in my house. You not finna, you know, leave your stuff over my house. You not finna get no key and move in. That's not happening. No, you not finna ride around in my car all day. No, you can't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. You got to start setting some boundaries around yourself. Stop letting men use you for what you got. Stop letting men use you for what you have, okay? You got to you gotta start setting some boundaries around what you got and telling that man, no, you cannot, don't touch me. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. I got boundaries. Don't touch my stuff. It's not for you. You ain't earned it. You ain't put in to deserve this. I ain't getting nothing. What did I get? You know, a lot of times you as a woman, you got to ask yourself, what did I get? Now, if you are empty handed and you didn't get nothing out of the deal, but this man asking for money or asking for sex or asking for whatever he asking for, right? To live with you, to ride, to to use your car, to use whatever, to, to co-sign. You know, some men, they might say, oh, co-sign, put your name on the dotted line. You know, mess up your credit. You know, he going to mess your credit up. You know what I'm saying? And you going to inconvenience yourself. So don't do it. I'm going to tell you what happens when you inconvenience yourself. You might sign your name on a dotted line to co-sign for a car in this man's name. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? When that man start missing payments on that car or that man get that car repoed, or that man, you know, don't pay nothing at all on the car. Guess who credit is affecting? Your credit. Now you can't get nothing. Now you can't go get you a car. Now you can't go get you nothing on your credit because your credit messed up. Because this man, you know, talked you into signing your name when you should have told him, no, I'm not signing my name. Get your own car. I'm not co-signing for you. No, I'm not finna let you move it. No, I'm not going to let you move into my house. This is my space. This is my area, you know, because when that man start moving in, guess what? He ain't going to want to pay no bills in your house. That's the first thing. He ain't going to pay no bills in your house because he's going to feel like, oh, this is your house. You know, you've been paying all the bills in this house anyways. Just let me crash with you for a second or let me stay with you and use you for shelter, right? He using you for shelter. You got to tell this man, no, you got to get your own house. You know, when this man say, oh, let me use your car. No, get your own car. You can't use my car to rip and run in the streets and pick up all your homeboys and ride around like you just, you know, in the Fast and the Furious and stuff. No, this is my car. Stop trying to use my stuff. This is my stuff. Get your own. You tell that man, no, get your own stuff. You can't use me, okay? Because when you too nice, you inconvenience yourself, and then you end up being mad when you let this man live in your house and he ain't paying no bills, and you mad he not paying no bills, or this man mess up your credit because you signed your name on the dotted line, or this man mess up your car or don't put no gas in your car or stuff like that, or bring your car back late, you know, he pick you up from work late. He drop you off at work late, you know, in your own car. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And he inconveniencing you when all you had to do was say the magic word. No. N-O. No. Not happening. No. You know what I'm saying? So when you learn that magic word, that's the first, first step to being a mean girl. If you want to be a mean girl or not even just a mean girl, 
If you want to be a woman that got a backbone, you got to learn how to say the word no and set boundaries and not allow a man to talk you into nothing that you do not feel comfortable doing, okay? Or that's not feasible or that just does not make sense to you. If it don't make sense to you or it don't match up with what you got going on, if it's a hassle for you, if you got to go out your way for it, or if you just simply don't want to do it, say the word no, okay? No. Can y'all say it with me? We going to say it on three. One, two, three. No, 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 okay? <laughs> so that's number one, all right? That's number one. So number two, the second thing that you can do as a woman to stop being so nice to a man or to anybody and to start being a little bit more meaner and having a backbone out here in these streets and to not get played and used and walked all over is you got to stop trying to force a man to like you. A lot of y'all women, y'all got big egos. I'm going to be real with you. You got a big ego. You want to know why you got a big ego? Because Instagram, your homegirls, thirsty guys, Yo, your family, everybody love you, right? Everybody love you. You so beautiful. All your homegirls, all your homegirls around you think you just so beautiful. You look so good. They hyping you up. Yeah, girl. Girl, you look so good. Yeah, girl, I like your hair. Yo, I like your body. Your makeup look good. Whatever, right? They hyping you up, right? Then all the guys in your Instagram DMs, in your likes, in your comments, all over your Instagram, drooling all over you, heart eyes everywhere, and they typing you all in your DMs, you so beautiful, you so fine, I want to make you mine, all that stuff, right, they hyping you up, then you got your family, you know, that love you and hype you up, and oh, she's so beautiful, and oh, she's just so amazing, and oh, we so proud of her, stuff like that, right, so a lot of women, you know, you big-headed, right? You big-headed, you know what I'm saying? The world love you, and it feeds your ego, and it feeds your confidence, right? So, what happens is, since you got all these people, all these thirsty guys drooling all over you, all your friends and family saying how amazing you are, you just think you just the best in the world, just the queen of the world, right? Now, what happens is, when you meet that one guy that act like you don't exist, or you meet that one guy that act like you're just invisible, like, who are you, girl? Like, you ain't nothing. And he go against what everybody else say about you, and he go against what everybody else think of you. This man actually reject you. You know, all your friends and family and all them thirsty guys that's all over you, all those needy and desperate guys that want you, you know... They they already approved of you. They approved of you, so you ain't really tripping because you know that you're validated on that side. But when you got that one man that act like you ain't nothing or that treat you like trash, that treat you like dirt, that don't care nothing about you, that neglect you, that won't be with you, won't commit to you, that is inconsistent, the guy that you can't really... Get your hands around. You can't really get him around your finger. You want this man wrapped around your finger, but you can't really get him like that. You want him, but you can't really get him like that, right? And that messes with your mind. It messes with your ego. It messes with your pride and your self-esteem because you like, wait a minute. How dare you not like me the way everybody else like me? All my friends and family, all these thirsty guys want me. Why don't you want me? I'm going to make you want me. I like you. You know, a lot of women is really like that. They really believe every single man is supposed to like her. And every single man automatically wants to have sex with her. Or every single man desires her. And sadly, that's not the case with every single man in the world. Somebody going to diss you. Somebody ain't going to like you or somebody going to think you just not all that and that's okay. But what happens is it messes with your ego. So you start chasing that man's validation. You like, wait a minute. You don't like me. This man don't see me. He don't see me. 
Y'all, this man don't see me? Okay, I'll make him see me. Let me show him how great of a woman I am to change his mind, right? Let me cook for him some more. I'ma cook real good. I'ma put all the seasonings. You know, I'ma cook real good. Yeah, that's gonna make him like me. Okay, let me clean his whole house. I'ma have his house spotless. That's gonna make him want me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me do his laundry. You know, let me wash his clothes. Let me let me take care of him. Let me give him booty on the men. Let me give him so much sex all the time. Let me give him a taste of this kitty cat. I'ma give him that kitty cat down there. You know, let me give him a little bit of that. You know? So, you go all out your way for this man, breaking your back, breaking your neck. Look over here. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Over here, over here, over here. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Look, why don't you see me? Why don't you want me? I gotta have you. I need you. I gotta have you, right? You so needy and desperate and thirsty. Now, you the needy and desperate person because this man act like you don't exist. But all the other guys, you don't really want them, right? The guys that want you, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies. Correct me if I'm wrong. The guys that want you, you don't want them, right? You don't want those guys that want you because you can already have them. They're not a challenge. They're not a challenge. You always know in the back of your mind, I can have you if I want you. So it's no thrill. It's no chase. It's nothing, but when you got that one man that makes you question everything about yourself and how you feel about yourself and your own self-esteem and your own self-look on yourself and how everybody else perceives you, it goes against the moral principle of the perception of everybody else. You start feeling like, wait a minute. No, I have to make this man like me, like everybody else. So the guys that want you, you don't want them. But the guy that don't want you, the guys that do not like you at all, that's the one you want, right or wrong. The guys you don't want, want you. And the guys you do want, they don't want you back, right? Right or wrong. The reason why is because of your ego, the reason why is because you like to chase. You want a thrill. You want some excitement. You want a challenge, right? A lot of women, you want a challenge. You want a man that's perceived to be, you know, you want a man that's perceived to be hard to get because you feel like, oh, if he's hard to get, he's worthwhile, you know? But these other guys, they too easy. I could already have them. They not valuable because they so easy. But this man that's, that's a challenge, you know, let me prove myself to him so I can win the trophy. You know, I'm going to win the trophy and he's the trophy. So let me do everything I can to make him happy. I'm going to give him so much sex. I'm going to give him so much attention, so much affection. I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to be all over him. I'm going to just smother this man so that he can't even breathe without me, right? And sadly, what happens is you get played and used. The more you chase a man, the more he will use you. You may think that that's going to make him want you more. You may think that giving him all that sex, you may think that even giving him money. It's so many women. Oh, let me spend my money on you. Let me buy you this. Let me take you here. Let me give you money. Anything you ask for, if you ask for some money, I'll, I'll give it to you. If you if you want anything, I'll give it to you. I'll give you any money. You want some money? You need some money? You want you want me to buy this? Hey, I'll take you out. I'll do this. I'll do that. You spend all your money on this man. This man, he just take it, take it, take it. He don't never spend no money on you. Or when you or when you ask for some money, when you need a bill paid, when you need something, he he ain't got it right? But he always expects you to fall through for him. And that's not fair. So guess what? Again, you got to start saying no. And you got to stop trying to force a man to like you. You got to get it through your head, ladies. Not every man going to like you. Not every man going to value you. Not every man even going to think you attractive. Not every man going to want to have sex with you. It's some men going to look at you like, you know, I'm I'm kind of cool on her. Like, you know, or if I was to have sex with her, I would have sex with her one time and be done with her because I don't want nothing else to do with her, right? So that's okay. Find the guys that actually like you, you know, but the guys that don't like you, 
Stop trying to prove yourself to them. Let them go. When you are a secure person, you don't chase people's validation you never chase a man's validation that's how you know you're an insecure woman if you right now you if you right now if you are chasing up after a man and you're trying to prove yourself to him constantly trying to impress him that means that you're insecure within yourself so you need his approval and his validation to tell you yes you're worth something yes you are valuable Yes, you know, you're special because without that man's approval, you don't feel like you're special. You feel like this man basically rejected you when he's inconsistent, wishy-washy, don't want to be with you, don't want to commit to you, don't call you back, don't text you back. You feel rejected when this man don't text you back. You feel rejected when this man don't call you back. Or he don't answer his phone calls. Or he don't want to come see you the way you want to come see him. You feel rejected when this man say, oh, something came up. Sorry, I can't make it. Or, oh, I'm so busy. Maybe another time. You get so upset because you want him so bad. But guess what? You need to be more secure within yourself and stop trying to make a man like you. And you need to actually like yourself so that you don't need nobody else's approval to validate you. So when you love yourself, validate yourself, and you look at yourself and put yourself up on the pedestal, you won't be putting him on the pedestal trying to make him approve of you or trying to make him happy. Put yourself on the pedestal. Stop putting a man on the pedestal. That's the problem. The problem with y'all women is that you put a man up on a pedestal, but you put yourself all the way on the ground. As, as much as you putting him all the way up, the more you put him up, the more you put him down here. And that's exactly why he treats you the way he treats you is because look at how you treat him. You treat him like a king. So guess what? He don't got to treat you like a queen. He treats you like a peasant. You are a peasant to this man and he is the king. You know what I'm saying? And I always say that you are going to be looked at as the peasant. So if you want to be looked at a queen, so if you want to be looked at as a queen, you need to carry yourself, value yourself as a queen and queens do not chase. When have you ever seen a queen chase? Queens do not chase. If somebody want to talk to the queen, they come to the castle. The queen don't go nowhere. The queen sit in her throne and everybody else come in, my guards and my knights and my security, they'll let you in, right? My guards and my knights, they'll let you in, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going nowhere. I'm the queen. I'm not going nowhere. I sit on my throne in my castle. If you want to talk to the queen, you come to the queen, right or wrong. You come to the castle, I don't go nowhere. I don't move nowhere. You come to the castle, right? So if you are a queen, you got to make the man come to you. You know, never chase a man. If he don't want you, he don't want nothing to do with you. Okay, bye. I don't want nothing to do with you either because queens do not chase, okay? So regardless of your ego, regardless of your pride and your, and your self-esteem and stuff like that, regardless of all that and with everybody else gassing you up, buttering you up and all that and the perception that you feel about yourself, regardless of that, do not chase up after a man to approve of you, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third way how you as a woman, how you can stop being so nice to a man and start having a little backbone in these streets is never be afraid to voice your opinion. So a lot of you women, y'all be scared to voice your opinion. If this man, let's just say, okay, let's say, for example, let's say you and this man, let's say this man want to take you to a restaurant. This man say, oh, I want to take you to this seafood restaurant. Hey, I found this nice seafood restaurant. Hey, I want to take you there. You know, you don't like seafood. You don't even like seafood, you know, or you allergic to seafood or you don't like seafood at all. You think seafood nasty. You don't like seafood. You're not a seafood type of girl, right? You're not that seafood type of person, okay? 
But this man, he suggests that, hey, let me take you to seafood. Now, if you end up going and say, yes, that's fine, you could take me to the seafood restaurant knowing in the back of your mind you don't eat seafood, then that is a problem because you are not voicing your opinion and you always just going with the flow. You always agreeing with everything. And you don't never stand up for yourself and say something. You don't have to feel the need to fit in. And you don't have to feel the need to make him approve of you and make him happy just because he suggests something. It's okay to say, no, I don't eat seafood. It's okay to say, no, I don't like seafood. I'm allergic to seafood. I, I don't even like going to seafood restaurants. Let's try something else. But you don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that person. You like, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to, you know, be that. I don't want to be that, you know, troublesome girl. You know, I don't want to be troublesome. I don't want to be, you know, the girl doing too much and stuff like that. You're not doing too much. You setting boundaries because you don't like seafood. So if you know you don't like seafood, don't go to that restaurant. Stop saying yes and stuff like that. Because what's going to happen is you're going to go on that date. And when this man asking you why you're not eating your food and you picking at your food because you don't really like it or whatever, you should have said something. You should have said, I don't like this food. I don't like seafood. Don't even take me here in the first place. But you just take it upon yourself to say, I'm going to just go to make this man happy because that's where he want to go because he likes seafood. I know this man likes seafood and he want to go and seafood is his favorite food and he want to go. But if you don't like seafood, don't just hinder yourself or put yourself in your own feelings and what you want and desire on the back burner for a man. You tell that man, no, take me somewhere else, okay? And let's just say this man say, oh, you know, well, I like this TV show. You know, he might, it might be a TV show. I like this TV show. Do you watch this TV show too? You may say, yeah, I love that TV show. That TV show is amazing. I really like it. You know you ain't never seen that show before. Or you know you don't even like that show. You only saying you like the show just because he liked the show. You know what I'm saying? You don't even like the show. You don't even watch that show. But you want to please him. Stop trying to please a man. If you don't like something, say, I don't like it. It's okay to be different from the man. I know you want to, you know, have things in common. And you don't want to seem like you don't got nothing in common with this man. Or you don't want to seem like y'all are so opposite that he not going to be attracted to you. It's okay to be different. You a whole different person. This man ain't got no choice but to respect you. If you don't eat seafood or if you don't watch that TV show, that's okay. That's you. That's how you are. And you don't got to change yourself to appeal to a man is what I'm saying. Stop trying to agree to everything and change what you want. Even if you don't like it or don't want it or don't want nothing to do with it. You just doing it just to make him happy just because he like it. Just because he liked that show or he liked that restaurant, that seafood restaurant. But you know you don't like seafood or that show. Okay? So that's number three. So number four. The fourth thing that you as a woman that you could do to stop being so nice out here. And you can start being a little bit more meaner and get some more respect around here. And how you can start being a little bit more assertive is you got to stand up for yourself, okay? Every single time, no matter what, 365, all day long, 24-7, you got to be on guard with this man. Like, hey, any sudden movement, I'm going to open my mouth and say something. I dare you to do something disrespectful or offensive to me. You got to start being more assertive. You got to start, again, setting boundaries, telling this man what it is going to be and what it ain't going to be. You always got to teach a man how to treat you. A man can only treat you the way you allow him to treat you. If you allow a man to walk all over you, guess what he gonna do? Walk all over you. If you allow a man to talk to you crazy and cuss you out 
and call you out your name, guess what he going to do? Cuss you out and call you out your name and disrespect you because you ain't got no backbone. You ain't going to say nothing and you going to allow me to mistreat you. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you start standing up for yourself, if you start getting a backbone, if you start, you know, if you start really respecting yourself and you stand up for yourself and you open your mouth and say something. See, the problem is a lot of you women, you close your mouth and you don't say nothing. You let a man do whatever, treat you whatever, treat you however, say whatever to you, tell you what to do, walk all over you, mistreat you, use you, manipulate you and play you in your face and you let him do it. You got to start opening your mouth every single time you feel disrespected or neglected or offended. Open your mouth and say something. Hey, I don't like that. I don't like what you did back there. I would appreciate it if you gave me an apology because you owe me an apology. If you don't give me an apology, then guess what? I don't want nothing to do with you. Matter of fact, what you did back there, you really crossed the line. I really don't want nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you really got me messed up. Now, if you don't get your act together and you don't treat me right, then guess what? You ain't going to be in my life no more, player. So you better figure out what you finna do and you better treat me right because I'm a queen. I'm a princess. You better treat me with some respect around here. I don't know what type of women you used to. You used to those easy women going to do whatever, let you say whatever, walk off. I'm not her. I'm not her. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown woman about mine. And I'm not going to let you play me in my face. You ain't finna play me in my face. You know what I'm saying? So you better act right around here. You know? So you got to call that man out. Hey, I don't like what you did back there. Hey, I don't like what you just said. Hey, you got to check that man. Hey, don't call me that. Hey, don't say that to me. Hey, I don't like what you did right there. Hey, do not. Don't make no sudden movements. Because you could be gone at any given time. Don't make no sudden movements, brother. You know what I'm saying? So you got to warn that man. You got to check that man. You got to start standing up for yourself. You got to start, you know, you got to stop playing about yourself. If you let a man walk all over you and you let him play with you, he going to play with you. And it's going to keep happening. The more you let slide, the more he going to get away with. But if you nip it in the bud right there and you don't let nothing slide and you don't let him play you or use you, then guess what? He don't have no power. You become the most powerful woman in the world when a man cannot use you. When you can say no, when you can stand up for yourself, when you call a man out on his games and his mess and you teach him how to treat you, you tell him how you want to be treated, and you stand on it, and if he still decide that he don't care, and he's still acting up, and he's still doing whatever, wilding out, tripping, then you know what you do? This roses right into number five. So number five, the fifth and last and final way how you can be a little bit more meaner and stop being a nice girl and get some respect and start being assertive is never be afraid to walk away from a man and treat that man the same way he treat you. So no matter what happens, you know, first you want to open your mouth and say something, verbalize how you feel, verbalize what it's doing to you and tell that man don't do it no more or else, right? And the or else is I'm going to be gone. And I'm going to leave you forever. I'm never going to talk to you again in my life because I don't need that negativity around my space. I don't need nobody that's not going to respect me. Everybody around me respects me. And if you don't respect me, you're not going to be in my life. So you ain't got no choice but to respect me if you're going to be in my life. So you cannot be afraid to cut any man off. Anybody could go. I don't care how long we've been together. I don't care how much I love you. I don't care how much I care for you. I don't care how much, you know, we did together, how many memories we had. Hey, I'll let all this go. I'll cut it all off if I'm not happy. If I'm not appreciated, if I'm not cherished, if I don't feel special, if I'm not happy, my happiness comes first. So if I'm not happy, guess what? I'm cutting you off. I'm never talking to you again. Bye, block, delete, erase, 
kick that man out your life because he do not respect you and he using you and playing games. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to treat a man the same way how he treat you. So if this man don't text you back, don't text him back. If this man don't be calling you, don't be calling him. If this man don't want to see you, don't be trying to see him. If this man don't go out his way for you, don't go out your way for him. If this man, if you can't ask this man for nothing, then he can't ask you for nothing. If you can't benefit off of that man, he can't benefit off of you. If that man not spending no money on him, don't be giving him your body, okay? Don't be giving him all your goods and your kitty cat and your booty. Don't be giving him everything when he give you the bare minimum or nothing at all. You got to treat a man the same way he treats you. If he mean to you, be mean to him. The problem is you always nice to a man that's mean to you. He mean to you. He ain't got no problem with being mean to you, right or wrong. This man, he treats you so bad. He treats you like dirt. He treats you like trash. He lie to you. He cheat on you. He put hands on you. He cuss you out. He manipulate you. He play games. He use you for all your money. He use you for sex. He just dog you all the way out and kick you to the curb, whatever. He don't care nothing about your feelings. He only care about himself. So now you got to start being selfish just like that man selfish and he only care about himself. You say, okay, well, I'm going to just care about myself. And guess what? I'm going to treat you the same way you treat me. If I'm not a priority in your life, you for sure not finna be a priority in my life. If I'm an option in your life, you an option in my life. If you gonna ignore me, if you gonna be distant with me, if you gonna go no contact with me, we ain't never gotta talk again. I don't care. I'll cut you off right now because I only need positive men or positive people in my life that actually want to be here. If you don't want to be here and these is the rules, these are the rules to be with me. These are the rules to be in my life. If you do not respect me, if you do not cherish me and treat me like a queen, then you got to go. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked, no negotiation, none of that. You got to be strict. You got to be real strict with this man. You got to stop playing about yourself and start loving yourself. And you need to start being selfish. Stop being a man pleaser and be self-pleasing to yourself. Please yourself. Stop trying to please that man. Make yourself happy. Do what's best for you. Stop doing what's best for that man to make him like you and do what's best for you. And hey, if he like you, then he like you. If he don't, then bye. Or if he treats you bad, then bye. Or if he don't want to be with you, then bye. Because guess what? You not going to chase no more men. That's not happening no more. Any, any woman that's watching me right now, you better not be out there chasing no men. I better not catch you out there chasing no men. Let the man come to you. I don't know where this came from, where women start chasing men and all that, but this stops here. This stops right here on this channel. On this channel, we not playing that. We gonna let everybody know, hey, when it comes to me, you better respect me like I respect everybody else, you know? But if you gonna come in here and disrespect me, then guess what? I'm gonna fight fire with fire. If you gonna mistreat me, I'm gonna mistreat you. If you gonna ignore me, I'm gonna ignore you. If you gonna neglect me, then guess what? We ain't never gonna talk again, right? So you gotta treat a man the same way he treats you. Give that man a taste of his own medicine. Everything that man do to you, just do it back. If if he don't pick up your phone calls, don't pick up his phone calls. If he don't text you back, don't text him back. If he texts you back hours and days late, text him back the same amount of time. If he texts you back two days later, text him back two days later after that. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Or you could just kick him out your life completely and not even, even play no games, you know? Now, if you want to play with him a little bit, you can. But, you know, if you don't want to play and you really want to put your foot down, you need to be real, real, real strict and just cut him all the way off. Don't even do the back and forth, tit for tat, whatever, you know? But that's cool, though, sometimes, because sometimes you do got to teach a man how to treat you and you do got to give a man a taste of his own medicine. Sometimes you do gotta show a man what it feel like. You know what I'm saying? What you feeling like, what he did to you. You gotta show him the same pain that you feel sometimes. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna go there, 
Or the other route you could go is just kicking him out your life forever. Either way it go, he going to feel your absence because he ain't never going to have that access to you again because he messed it up and he'll never have that type of woman again. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stop being so nice because guess what? Nice girls finish last and you're going to get walked all over in these streets. You got to start being mean, start being assertive, and start standing up for yourself. So don't no man play with you in your face, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five ways how you as a woman, how you can stop being so nice and start being a little bit more meaner and get some respect in these streets. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.